I'm Ms. Artastic and today we're going to draw a lovely hot chocolate with some marshmallow friends. So grab your favorite marker making mediums and let's make some art. Well Artastic Nation, it's time to draw some hot chocolate. Oh yeah. So here we go. We're going to begin with a straight line across. Okay. Draw a curve on either end of that line. This is the top of our mug here. And then draw a parallel line across. Now I would also like you to go over those lines a second time to thicken them up and make them stand off your page. Perfect. You can add a couple spots in there for the glare of light on that nice and shiny surface. Next, we're going to add three long ovals. Well, that's weird, isn't it? Don't worry, I got you. Okay, from those ovals. Draw straight lines down. Of course, this hot chocolate needs some marshmallow friends. Okay, you can go around the outside of the marshmallows, just around the outside, a second time to thicken them up. Cool. And now you can add some nice steam around there and then go over that vapor a second time perfect okay I realize now, looking at this, that this looks almost like a campfire going on here, but don't worry! It's going to be a, a lovely hot chocolate. Okay, now we gotta do some other hot chocolate mug features. Two straight lines down. Curved line at the bottom. Go over it a second time to make that pop. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm gonna add a foot on my mug. A nice little mug foot. Great. All right. Next, we're going to add a little handle. So pick on one side that you're going to add a handle. Draw a letter C. If you did it on the right side, it's going to be a backwards letter C. And then draw a parallel line for that handle. Okay, for the face, we're gonna do one eye here, one eye here. So, one circle, you can make it nice and large. In that circle, we're gonna draw one big circle, one small circle. Now, on the other side, you're gonna to to do an upside down U or like a lowercase n, and it has to be the same size as that circle because it's the other eye. Now. You're going to go over that shape one more time, thickening it up so it stands out. Then color in 
the rest of the eye. between the eye we're gonna do between the eyes we're gonna draw a nice line across we're gonna draw it outward on an angle okay a little different outward on an angle curve at each corner connect them together Oh yeah. Along the top, we're going to add some a row of teeth here. We want to just color in the corners here. Row of teeth there. In the mouth, we're going to draw a nice curving line up and over. Thicken it up. Then I'm going to connect it just a little bit part way up, make another curve. And that's going to be the tongue inside the mouth. Color it in. Before we complete this little hot chocolate by coloring it, we gotta give these guys three different faces. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do one sleepy face. So I'm gonna draw two lines for the eyes. A little upside down U. Straight across. And then I'm gonna color in most of that mouth except for the tongue and I can add two little cheeks if I want. On this one, I'm gonna do a U with a top. Then I'm going to do a sideways V. And then I'm going to add a little smiley face. And then on this one, I'm going to do Color in a circle most of the way. We're gonna give it a little mouth like that. Okay, so you can follow along with these guys or give your marshmallows their own unique mouth and eyes, and then we are ready to color. Okay, let's color in this Hot chocolate. Okay, we're gonna start with this vapor here. I'm going to pick a gray, whatever you want to color with, that's cool. Whether it's pencil crayon or a wax crayon, you pick your mark maker. Okay, go around the outside border with that gray. Then you can go around your marshmallows as well. So they stand out. I'm gonna take the gray and just go along the bottom of the teeth or top there. Next. I'm going to pick a color for my mug. So I'm going to do a blue mug. So first I'm going to color my mug blue and then we'll use some black 
or other dark values to shade around it. Okay, so go ahead and pick a color to color your hot chocolate mug. I'm gonna do the handle and that lip of the mug a little bit of a different color. So I'm gonna pick my purple here and a color in that handle. And the lip. Color in your tongue red. I'm gonna color the top of the marshmallows with just a bit of blue. And then I'll go over in a creamier color to tone it a little bit. And I can also use that creamy color just along part of the sides there, keeping it nice and thin because of course I want them to be white. And then you can color any other details that you have going on on the marshmallows. Finally, I want to shade my artwork. So I'm going to grab my white uh, pencil crayon or wax crayon. And I want to also um, use black. So we're gonna shade with black and highlight with white. First, I'm going to go and take my black and I'm going to color gently around the eyes. And I'm just coloring in a nice circle here. And that will make it nice and soft. I'm going to shade under this closed eye. You can shade around your mouth. You can shade under the body of that mug where it's meeting that foot. You can shade along the inside of the handle, under the lip. and around some of those marshmallows. Okay, and once you're done, your lovely hot chocolate, perfect for a nice cold winter day, is done. 
If you liked that video, hit subscribe as new art lessons are added weekly. Teacher, if you are looking for some fully planned art lessons, please make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, or for fully planned art teacher curriculum, head on over to artasticcollective.com. Or if you're looking for some other teaching ideas and art inspiration, you can visit my blog at mizartastic.com or listen to the Ms. Artastic podcast on your favorite podcast player.